Well, we have maintained a pessimistic view of um, the um, economic situation here in Egypt even before the start of the uh, reopening of the Egyptian stock market and the expectations weren't that actually precise and the performance of the Egyptian stock market was better than expected. So you think this may happen in other economic domains? Yeah, that's true. Yes, the, the stock market, when it opened, the, the forecasts were very dire mm. and it was only for the first minutes. And after that, <laughs> stock prices increased uh, and uh, they, were relative, they are relatively stable. But still, they are around 50% below their highs. Mm. We should not forget that, and we should not forget the stock prices are in Egyptian pounds. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the inflation rate is around 10%, so that is even uh, a, a constant stock price means, in real terms, it declines. Mm -hmm. So what should be topping the government's agenda in the coming period here in Egypt? Okay, let's, uh, when discussing about Egypt, I think there are... Um, mm, Yes, we have discussed it more than once at the economics department of the German University in Cairo. We had, of course, we are highly interested in what's going on. And our, uh, our conclusion was twofold. The first thing, the government should make sure that, uh, uh, that the external deficit is reduced. Mm -hmm. So that is the external deficit means that the current, uh, that the current account uh, is no longer that negative as it is right now. And second, the government should make sure that also the, the, the government deficit is reduced. What we can observe is a twin deficit. That is very common. You have the same for the United States. They have a huge current account deficit on the one hand side, and on the other hand, they, had, they have in parallel a huge government deficit. Okay. That means you are dependent upon foreign investors. If the government could make sure that this current account deficit is reduced, then you are no longer that, that dependent upon the, upon the foreign investors. And if the, at, simultaneously the government deficit is reduced, then what the savings amount of the Egyptian economy is available for investment. We have a basic rule, that is savings equal investment. But each dollar of the savers which is going to the government is lost. It's, it's like consumption. So that is reducing the reducing the, the state deficit and reducing the external deficit. And there is, uh, yes, so you will ask me, what, what can we do? <laughs> okay, it's, yeah, it's, uh, uh, it's easy talk so far. Okay, we have, a, yeah, there are, are two instruments which are very powerful uh, and which could be implemented very fast and which are very clear, but they will hurt. The first one is depreciation. Yeah, um, depreciation of the Egyptian currency uh, that will have positive effects in the medium to the long run for the economy. It will hurt a lot in the short run, but it will help you to, or it will help Egypt to stabilize the currency reserves, which are so necessary mm -hmm. for a, a real emergency case. Um, uh, a depreciation, let's say, around 20 to 30 percent or so. Mm -hmm. Uh, that will make the Egyptian firms more competitive on the world market. It will the Egyptian firms make more competitive on the domestic market against imports, and it will block speculation. Right now, Egypt is losing around 100 million of currency reserves each day. It depends on the day, around 1 billion per month. That is not sustainable. Okay, once it's depreciated, there will be no speculation against the Egyptian pound anymore. And the second thing is, okay, the government deficit, uh, um, okay, one idea is of course increasing earnings, especially the medium and the high income earners must contribute a little bit more for Egypt. The in tax what rates, sense? Spending? In, no, in terms of taxes, hmm. in terms of taxes. That, that would be our idea. Hmm. And uh, okay, maybe also cutting subsidies, especially for energy. But that seems like an austerity plan for me. It, and it does not seem it is an austerity it plan. It is. <laughs> so a country in political turmoil ha and a government um, managing a crisis situation in a country and a country that has faced political turmoil in the uh, last period, how can they um, carry out a, an austerity plan in this period? Yeah. That is a good question. Actually, I don't have an answer on that. Mm. Also, I'm a guest in this country. I'm from... I'm from Germany, and I see how hard it is in Germany, where everything is well established. 
to to take these hard measures. So it's 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 not easy. And I can see, yes, of course, the military government now they don't want to take long-lasting decisions because they say, yeah, it's just for a couple of months. So they will wait for the next government and the next government, uh, let's say in September or so, they, the first step they will want to do is not to hurt the people. Mm. So yeah, maybe again, it's back up now to the military government. Mm. It's, an austerity, it's an austerity plan and it's important to communicate to those people who are interested and most will be interested that it's just necessary and that it is uh, for that is a good medium and long run plan it will hurt in the short run but we should be interested yes that our our children or maybe that in five years or so things are getting better mm. we should stop to think in the short run mm.